guys, Silverplated22 here, bringing you another episode of Silverplated Hybrids. Now, what is this series, I hear you ask? Well, I'm guessing a lot of you probably already know because you watch it. But the series is where we work through all the different formations on FIFA, making some hybrids with some really cool silvers, maybe that you've missed, that you haven't had a chance to use, maybe some non-rares, some informs, maybe players that I've already used that I've really enjoyed, maybe players that I think are hidden gems that you guys might not have noticed, that I've noticed, that I've used loads. Just, it, we've got an endless possibility of making hybrids and we try to fit in about three leagues. I don't go for no links waste or anything like that. That's for foothead. You know, it doesn't affect the in-game. I would love to know, guys, just quickly, this isn't the end chat, but I would love to know in the comments below, has the chem glitch been sort of patched? Because a lot of people are saying it has. I haven't done anything about it because I wasn't, it doesn't really interest me massively and I, I assumed it would be patched quite quickly. But anyway, let me know in the comments below. So let's get straight into it. In nets, we have uh, Tremel. Now, Tremel has 74 diving, 74, uh, 77 reflexes, 72 handling, and 74 positioning. Now, 6 foot 3, very tall. Obviously, it's a little bit slower than you maybe want, but, you know, it, it, for someone so tall, that's quite standard. As we get into right back, we've got Palacios, who might not look amazing going forward. He might not look the greatest defensively, but he's got good physical, good pace in 84 pace, 5 foot 10, only 2 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, and medium, medium work rate. So, not world beater, but more than capable of sitting in that position. Sulu is the first centre-back with 68 pace, 78 physical and 73 defending. No complaints there. He's got that medium-high work rate. I like to have a high defensive work rate on my centre-back. Cost me 1,400 coins. The other centre-back that we've got is Strobel. Now, you might have seen me use this guy a few times on the channel. He's got 64 pace, 74 defending, 79 physical, but he's got that decent passing as well. He's got medium, medium work rates with a little bit disappointing, but he's tall enough and relatively quick enough to, you know, get back if he needs to. At left back, we have got Plettenhardt, who is a player I've actually used quite a lot, but I don't think I've ever used on a series of any sort. He's really well-rounded. You can see him playing a more sort of CDM role with those sort of stats. You know, a lot of people won't touch a, a, a defensive player without 80 pace uh, as far as left back or right back go but I think he's pretty solid Hernandez is at CDM obviously he's an inform that I haven't used uh, up until this video but super well rounded I'll talk a little bit about him in the video uh, in the clip sorry uh, 4 star weak foot's very nice 2 star skill moves and as I say only 1 star under 70 which is quite cool Yabo is a player who I've not actually used this year at all and then I tried him in this video and I thought hang on a minute why have I not used this guy I think he originally comes out as a centre mid but he's got 80 pace 75 physical 73 def uh, dribbling and the rest is all over 60 5 foot 10 medium medium work rates really solid cdm uh, melina is a player that i guess a lot of you guys wanted me to review i did get a lot of requ requests requests for him but i just didn't get a chance he's got that eight pace which is really cool and that's 77 passing might be a little bit slow you would say for that sort of four triple two cam but i don't think so personally uh Kata is another player who is uh being heavily requested on this channel nearly all stats over 70 that defending stat is the is the lower one a lot of people play him at center mid but i like to play him a little bit further forward he's got the pace the passing the shooting the dribbling and the physical to just bomb forward and get past people uh, Preciado is a player who I actually started to review but we lost internet connection for a couple of days so I didn't get to get him out he's got 80 pace 81 shooting that is ridiculous 70 physical 76 dribbling and six foot tall I'll talk about him in the clips as well and Rayner is a player who I really, really enjoy using. He's got 91 pace, 63 shooting. He's got really poor passing, but he's got that 76 dribbling as well. No four-star skill moves, which would be ideal, but for a 66-rated player, this guy is very, very dangerous. Um, guys, you can see the squad here. Absolutely awesome squad. Really enjoyed using it. Four triple two is one of my favorite formation. And I'll get into talking about all the different areas. Okay, into the clips. So the goalkeeper... Uh, Tremel is a goalkeeper who I've used a bit. I guess a lot of you are probably more likely to have used his Swansea, I think, version. Um, but yeah, he's, he's more than solid enough. No complaints, really. Uh, as getting into the defence, solid enough. Nothing spectacular, but didn't concede a huge amount of goals. Right back and left back were a little bit uh, edgy from when people were attacking on the counter. But overall, they were more than capable of, you know, of, you know, defending from corners and, and all that sort of stuff. So on the counter, they were a little bit dodgy, but the CDMs did help that. The CDMs were really, really solid. No complaints there at all, um, especially from Yabo, who was really, really good. And Hernandez, to be fair. Hernandez was more the player who drove forward, which was weird because I thought Yabo would be being the centre mid. But Hernandez was actually very, very good going forward. Uh, again, into the cams, Molina was really, really good. His long shots were excellent. I think there's a decent long shot in this, uh, in this video, as you'll be able to see. And then, yeah, on the, on the other side... 
was uh, was equally good with Keita, who who was you know I guess a lot of people have used him by now, but the real creme de la creme of the of the team. Reina was solid, you know, no complaints at all. But Preciado, oh my word, has anyone used Preciado? He is absolutely insane, guys. He feels like M Lapper from like FIFA 13 and FIFA 14. He is so good. Honestly, I can't recommend him enough. He's like he, he should have like a 95 beast rating or something like that. I can honestly tell you this guy will be featured in my top strikers I've, I've purchased him and I'm gonna keep him he he was ridiculous and for like 8,500 coins or something I paid for him I can't recommend that guy enough honestly go out and try him and this squad was really solid I'd love to know if you guys would use this sort of squad do you like the 4 triple 2 formation I really enjoy it I feel like it gives enough balance between the sort of play through the middle but also allowing the players to drift out wide a little bit if there's if you know there's a break on or whatever and um, and I, yeah, I really enjoyed this squad. I probably rated amongst the highest squads that I've uh, done on this series. Really, really enjoyed it. And if I can get one thing across to you guys, please go out and try Preciado. He's so cheap. He's so overpowered. And I'd love to know, guys, what players would you like me to use in the rest of this series? I've got another load of great videos coming out really soon if you're interested in subscribing. If you like Silvers, that'd be cool. Comment below and please leave a like, guys. It lets me know if you're enjoying the series and stuff. I know you guys really, really support pretty much everything I do and I'm super grateful for that. So thank you guys and see you on the next video. Cheers.